Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. All right. Clock wanted to come out. Need time. Takes time. In time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Bottom of the deck. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Things coming to light. Adapt. Change. Heal. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. Patient shuffle. Indeed. Your energies, guys. Knight of Cups. Strength card. Knight of Wands. Your person's energies. Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Talk about Clock Oracle card. Ace of Wands. Meeting energies. The Star. The Moon. Interesting. Focus. High Priestess. King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Uh, let's say an energy about commitment. Stable, grounded, reliable, honest, trustworthy. The king can provide for himself and is willing to do the same in favor of those that uh, he cares about. This can be a mindset that uh, you can have, but also your special person can have it. That's why you can match, basically on an energy level uh, it's about intentions four of pentacles bottom of the king um, a closed off approach it can be about previous experiences um, or the necessity to open up opening our heart allow me to say and this is something that can make the difference but also something that may require a little bit of time and patience clock energy seven of pentacles i also love to see the finding out things coming to light uh, keywords in the dragonfly oracle card because we have the moon which is an energy about the unknown we have silence also a little bit because of the focus on the a priestess but then there is a spark and the opportunity to fulfill a desire, a wish, thanks to the star, which is a bright energy, kind of like the Ace of Wands, after all. So guys, it's a process. I usually say that patience is a powerful virtue, but it can make all the difference. We are looking at a situation that, thanks to patience, can unfold positively so let's start with this person they are a lovely human being because of the queen of cups influence and they can be someone that values quite a lot the manners and the ways of approaching a new person for example and if they are careful and respectful they kinda expect the same approach coming from a suitor allow me to say and in this case the combination that can make the difference is the knight of cups approaching the queen because there is a common mindset when it comes to matters of the heart and there is also an ability to choose the proper words in order to convey a message that can be 
precise, respectful and straight to the point because the A priestess in the focus, yes, it can be about silence, but the A priestess speaks only the essentials even if she knows everything because she can get in touch with the higher world, her intuition, in order to figure out the best possible way to deal with a circumstance. So, Queen of Cups, open to interact with someone that is deserving of her loving energies. The Seven of Pentacles can be the time factor that is playing a role in this uh, scenario. This man has put a lot of effort in favor of a situation and then he knows that it's just a matter of time before he can reap the benefits and the fruits of the previous labor. Because the Queen of Cups has mastered the self-love ability, this person may have been single, let's say, or available to evaluate new connections for quite some time, but without any type of rush. No rush. They are not in a hurry. They are open, but they respect the process in order to make the best out of it. Progress is the key word. The Ace of Wands is the spark of passion that can be ignited between the two of you. This is a brand new beginning. We are looking at a brand new beginning with um, a ton of potential, I would say. This is the interaction, the pleasant uh, exchange that the two of you can share in order to uh, manifest the shift from the moon to the star. But we will get to the combination. So exciting interaction for this person with some of you guys. Uh, some of you that are in touch with your heart, Knight of Cups, a romantic gesture. It is fair to say that some of you will have the chance to offer this token. Others of you, because this is still a general reading, may have the opportunity to receive it. The Knight is... Um, extremely comfortable when it comes to share a cup of love in favor of a special person and we have the queen of cups after all uh, in the flow and the knight trusts what his art tells him to do i love to see this strength card guys because we can agree that this is about overcoming challenges bravery but for me the strength card is a matter of trust the beautiful lady can establish the bond with the gorgeous but still dangerous lion because she can display her true colors, her finer qualities, and she can earn the trust of the lion. This is what makes the difference according to the meaning uh, taming the beast. It's a matter of trust. You may value trust quite a lot and for this very reason you are willing to offer it, to display it properly. The Knight of Wands, guys, is the passionate approach, passionate energy that can come to play once the Ace of Wands has been ignited. I know that the Knight of Wands sometimes can pay the price to be associated to a player vibration. It depends on the energies. In this case, there is a drive towards a connection that can be perceived as a source of excitement. Because after all, the Knight of Wands can be uh, also uh, an extremely passionate and fiery human being that is willing to go for a chance that uh, has been recognized as an exciting one. Truly a source of satisfaction and is ready to go all in. This can be in favor of the interaction. Maybe there is quite an attraction. And if it is channeled in a healthy way, in a balanced way, it can even be a remarkable factor in favor of the connection. Meeting energies, guys. Um, there can be a little bit of silence. Maybe the interaction needs to um, gain momentum. The moon. It can be a fear factor uh, if we think about potential previous experiences that were not a source of satisfaction and so when we have the chance to interact with new persons maybe we are 
um, cautious but this is also an energy about the unknown for me something that is yet to be revealed yet to be discovered um, and with bravery we can dive deeper within the moon energy so that we can truly discover something that can make the difference moving forward the interaction can make the difference if we pay attention to the um, key elements that can play a role we can find things out things can come to light and we can embrace a change after all because we have the opportunity to move towards the star which is about a wish granted but at the same time transparency honesty trust uh, the beautiful lady is naked in front of the universe she doesn't care she's amazing she is able to recognize what are the chances that are in alignment with wishes and desires of hers and so this can be the type of interaction that the two of you can share transparent honest open in order to figure things out and if there is a common vision about a stable partnership well there can be the chance to work for it together so that we can open up our heart with uh, more and more comfort and hopefully we have the chance to achieve uh, goals together so guys uh, let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies we get three mystic healer healing energy flows through you this can be about the past maybe um, it can even speak about some of you considering the strength card as the ability to overcome challenges maybe the fear factor is about previous connections but there is intuition in this flow of energies that can make the difference considering the a priestess because it's the key to recognize if a connection can be a, a positive one, a successful one. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Well, quite auspicious. There is a transition after all from the moon to the star, uh, kind of powering through uh, the gates. First light. I love this card. Beginning a new cycle. First light of a new connection, why not? finding out things coming to light stepping into power you are strong beyond measure well with the strength card no wonder absolutely making the best out of the circumstances uh, putting in the best possible behavior it's a mindset after all so we have a jumper to close this reading so let's see you are ready I love it we are approaching uh, the green light moment those of you more advanced in the timeline because time is fluid of course uh, may have already experienced the spark others are approaching it and so this is about the transition from the moon to the star things coming to light unlikely this is an energy that I associate to the process of this person uh, when it comes to a potential suitors patient approach if an interaction is not able to convince them at the 100% it's unlikely that this person will go for it but because there is a resonance knight of cups queen of cups uh, basically there is a shift and that's why the four of pentacles after all is meaningful because this is a protective stand kind of better safe than sorry because maybe previous experiences have taught this man that this is the wisest choice to make but at some point we can open up because we recognize an opportunity that can be a fulfilling one it's a brave call yes absolutely but bravery uh, can be rewarded
helpful people, bottom of the deck. It can be about the energies that the two of you are able to share with each other, an understanding, let's say, uh, the willingness to uh, give each other the time that is needed in order to build something that can truly be reliable. Guys, it's a lovely flow. If you ask me, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!